Okay, everyone. Uh, Dan Wolf here. Uh, we have a great uh, guest speaker today uh, from Disney and Engineering, Raul Pedregon, Senior Tech Infrastructure Manager of a Fortune 50 Enterprise. Uh, that's Disney Imagineering. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this on screen here. So, Raul, th thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Dan. And I love your background with all the great uh, Disney posters that we all know and know and love. That's fantastic. So Raul, uh, you've been a, a big fix user for a long time, and we're going to talk to us today about how you use the automation capabilities to help make Disney Imagineers more, more productive. So today we're going to talk about what I call the four seasons of OS deployment at Disney. We are storytellers by nature. Um, so my goal is to paint you a story um, through, uh, through different types of topics that we have on it. Um, and hopefully I'm the hero at the end of the story. So that's the goal for today. So the four seasons that I kind of want to discuss is the image creation, the image deployment, the compliancy of the operating system, and finally software packages. Now that you have it all laid down, how do you continue to keep things current? Software, uh, software usage, along with uh, vulnerability management and packages as well. So this paints a picture of what it was like prior to walking into the doors at Imagineering. I had kind of been working with them, but they brought me on board because they really wanted to automate processes and not have... Um, physical uh, users running around. Uh, there was a lot of running around with uh, USB sticks, uh, what they call sneaker net. Um, a lot of people just hosting things on share drives and sending emails like, oh yeah, hey, go download this software here and you can get it. Um, we've gotten rid of all of that. Um, we've been able to streamline processes. So, and we'll, we'll take us on that journey of how we got there. But this is really, the landscape of our of our audience was um, server, um, desktop systems, laptop systems, and you could see that it was all kind of done di differently. Red uh, indicates the that there was no automation going on, so you can see that there was a lot of handheld or user manually installing software operating system. Um, yellow indicates that there was some automation going on um, for those, uh, let's say, Linux. Um, they had done some nice work using Chef to um, create some automation around deploying the operating system and uh, getting some software on there, but it still wasn't uh, fully streamlined. Image creation. So a lot goes into image creation at the at the bare metal. Um, image creation to me is the whole life cycle of, of the whole process. And now we are able to say that we can do a lot of the image creation for a lot of platforms now, regardless of who's bringing in what operating system, depending upon what projects they're working on. Um, we're able to look at the MSB compliance, the WDI configuration specific to our environment, um, the patch installation, and then the software installation to, to deliver to users. So we're able to uh, now fully cycle through that whole process to be able to ensure that the uh, OS is stood up. But now with Big Fix, we are able to, using the bare metal, we can actually deploy the operating system to anywhere in the world for any platform we need to, supported by OS deployment. Um, so if someone is in another part of the state, another part of the country, we have the capability due to the relay system um, and OS deployment, we can put it anywhere we need to in the world and touch anybody. Now that we have the, um, now that uh, Big Fix has been installed, we're able to, at the OS layer, be able to configure all of the security settings prior to it even getting to the users. And using the console, we're able to monitor these web reports. We can 
we can monitor all of these settings now, the OS configuration, the secure uh, configuration standards that Disney has for everything, uh, our drivers, and we're able to look at our patch status um, daily uh, because of uh, the Big Fix agent continuously reporting information to the console. We can report this to management. Um, if there is a configuration that is a mandatory due to a zero day or some type of exploit, we are able to on the fly give report status of what our environment looks like and how we can uh, remediate and our status of it as we go through the mediating process. So, uh, yeah, so, but because of these package, so because of this process we put in place and um, because of the way Big Fix is designed, we're able to, now that we've created these software packages, we're able to put them in different levels of our deployment process. So we can put them into the imaging level. So group A's image looks like this, group B's level uh, image looks another way. Um, we can set it up so when their system is stood up, um, or they might want group A might want it in their image build. Group B might want it just as an advertisement. So we're like, okay, no problem. At stand up time, we can make that both of those things possible for you guys. And, um, and because of this, we're also able to do OS compliancy because we're able to put in any type of configurations for them at the get go of the image build process. Uh, so the images stood up. The configuration packages or software or fix lists that we've built will be able to just automatically be pushed to their system so we don't have to worry about it. We monitor those jobs so rarely from time to time if we see a failure, we need to fix it, and then we just repush again. Underneath the hood to them, they know that everything, they don't even know that it was touched, but we know that their system's now secure. Um, so the user, uh, we cannot bring down a project. <laughs> so. The fact that we're able to push configurations and security configurations to people without them knowing and it doesn't uh, interfere with their work uh, is a big win um, from the security perspective along with just the work perspective. Uh, and then, like I said, on the on the flip side, if we if we don't put it in the image, these same packages are just used in the advertisement. So we're able to. Um, Managers are really liking that leniency of being able to, oh, yeah, I want package A, B, and C in my image, but I want D, E, and F advertised. And they are really liking that concept because it gives them the flexibility of these are my need tos, these are my good to haves. So it's been um, working out really well for them. I don't think I'm anything special. I think it's just because of the tools capabilities, we've been able to do this. So you remember the slide at the beginning, there was a lot of red. So this is now the current state of our environment and it's a little more um, dumbed down almost in a way. Uh, so blue represent, dark blue represents things that we've um, completely solidified in a way. Um, uh, the green represents areas where we have full automation. Uh, yellow represents where we have some automation. Uh, yellow represents where we have no automation, and orange represents where we have some automation. Wins. We can talk about some wins. Everyone likes. Well, what's my value add on this stuff? So we've been able to get some really great wins. I feel um, system delivery. It used to be about two weeks, from what I was told. Again, I didn't do it before then, but. It was about two weeks to get a user system to them because of configuration and software installations. And um, these people obviously had more than one laptop to deliver. So I don't, it's not that they were, uh, it was just time constraining to be able to have, put all the software on there, put the configuration, put whatever they needed to, and then deliver it to somebody. I literally stood up a, a computer in two days for an Imagineer when he came to me. He's like, hey, I heard you got this automated stuff. I'd love to try it. I'm like, yeah. What do you need? He's like, okay, I have this. I need this operating system. I need uh, these packages and um, these configurations. I said, awesome. I plugged it in. We already had that layout because his manager had come to us. Um, I plugged it in, selected that image. Uh, it laid down the operating system, laid down the software, laid down the configurations. Uh, in two days, it was back to him. Some of the software we use is very uh, large, uh, several gigabyte installs, um, some of them 10 to 20 gigs. 
so it was really the latency was just because the software packages were so uh, massive that it takes time to download that, install it. Um, but it was hands off. All I had to do is it was plugged in. It was running. I just kept checking the console for when it would be done. Told him it was done. He, I never saw him again. So hopefully uh, he had a good day. <laughs> no, he, uh, he replied back to me and said like, man, this is amazing. It's working great. I checked in with him. Um, so it went really well. Uh, so that was a win. Um, three dedicated FTEs to software. Um, as far as like, okay, I got to get all these packages. There were about three or four guys running around with sneaker, uh, running around with USB sticks and all that stuff has really turned into about a, a half a FTE because most of it's automated. So mostly everyone, st if, if someone does do it, um, it's almost like a set it and forget it kind of thing where they just plug it in, they make sure that it kicked off and then they walk away and come back like a day or two later or a couple hours later um, to make sure it's done. So the the human aspect of it has shrunken tremendously. Um, we're able to give the system compliancy level verifications and the patching compliancy verification um, due to the real time and, and analysis that Big Fix has that we were able to pull back. So if Again, if management is ever like, oh my gosh, we heard there's this zero day, what what does that look like for us? We can say, here's exactly what it looks like for us. Here's our remediation plan, and we'll keep you um, on a day to day what this looks like for us and how we're accomplishing getting it uh, fixed. And uh, package creation um, takes about two weeks for other groups. Um, we are not the only package builders in the environment, um, but for other groups, it takes about two weeks. Um, if I've turned things over in like 48 hours for users, um, because it, it works so quickly, because we have some bare metal uh, fixes, if you will, that I can use. Um, so they were impressed with that and they, they, they've kind of done the Pepsi challenge and um, we're winning on, on all fronts of that. So that's been a big uh a big kudos i guess to the team and everyone that's been been working on that and helping